ओके फाइन सो हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए हिस्ट्री ऑफ द यू एस ए एडम स्मिथ एडम स्मिथ तो यू ऑल नो एडम स्मिथ से इज दैट इट इज वन ऑफ द टू मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स इन द वर्ल्ड स्पेसिफिकली आफ्टर फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी सो वील जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मूवमेंट इट कम्स टू हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए देर आर कपल ऑफ डायमेंशन विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट्स सो अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट लाइक वेन इट कम्स टू हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए इट्स लिटरली सच ए लार्ज टॉपिक बट इट इज अल्टीमेटली वन टॉपिक इन योर सिलेबस ठीक है द मूवमेंट इट कम्स टू हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए वी कैन सी इफ यू हैव बिन अवॉइडिंग द एंशेंट हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए दैन द मेडिवल हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए सो इवन दो इफ इट कम्स टू ओनली द मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए लाइक देर आर कपल ऑफ इवेंट्स विच आर रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट द मूवमेंट इट कम्स टू योर यू पी एस सी सिलेबस दैट जस्ट वन टॉपिक बट यू कैन सी that the questions which are being asked from history of usa they are really very deep questions which are being asked like they have been asking questions from the colonization they are asking questions on american war of independence or let's say american revolution uh then they have been asking questions on slavery they have asked questions on uh, american constitution they have asked question on american civil war so there are like you know multiple topics from where the questions are being asked and one more thing i must say when it comes to history of usa like normally students do study the history of usa in a very simplistic way whether it is incorrect right why it's incorrect because when it comes to history of usa there are so many historiographies and in fact in every historiography you can find different interpretation of american history and that's how it becomes very important like i remember in 2004 or 2006 they have asked one question and they have just mentioned one name that's called as beard ठीक है अगर आप देखेंगे देखा ही नहीं होगा क्वेश्चन देखेंगे तो पता चलेगा 2006 में उन्होंने एक क्वेश्चन पूछा था जिसमें उन्होंने बियर्ड का रेफरेंस दिया है हु इज बियर्ड इज ए वेरी पॉपुलर हिस्टोरियन ऑफ अमेरिकन हिस्ट्री फ्रॉम द प्रोग्रेसिव स्कूल एंड देर आर एज आई टोल यू दैट देर आर मेनी स्कूल द वे यू इन द वे you find multiple schools in indian history writing in the same way you can find many history you uh, know historical schools even in american history such as you know patrician is there puritan uh, puritan then patrician then you can talk about the progressive then you can talk about conservative neo progressive neo conservative then neo left right then revisionist these are various schools which are there and in fact couple of historians such as uh, you can talk about charles beard you can talk about uh, uh, you know that person what is his name Mm, Eric Foner that you can talk about uh, uh, there are so many historians theek which are very important in american history but i am not like i am not getting you in that particular direction undoubtedly we'll discuss about some important historians and in fact there are couple of historians th- those who are very important in american history and out of them one has been referred in your question also so we'll just try to discuss about them also but before i come into those kind of complicated part of american history i would like to first simplify that what is this history of america and then i'll try to get into some deeper concepts of american history so you all know that अमेरिका इज ऑल्सो दैट लैंड विच वॉज कॉलोनाइज इतना तो सबने सुना होगा ठीक है सो वेन वॉज इट कॉलोनाइज ओके लुक वेन इट कम्स टू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ यू एस ए कुछ नहीं समझ में आ रहा था नहीं अरे क्या है कौन रहते थे अमेरिका में तो बस एक ही नाम पता है आपको रेड इंडियंस एक ही नाम सुना है रेड इंडियंस अपने आप को बुलाते थे क्या yes. नहीं ना दे नेवर कॉल्ड देम सेल्फ एज रेड इंडियंस बिकॉज दे डिड नॉट नो इंग्लिश दे आर नॉट कॉलिंग देम सेल्फ एज रेड इंडियन देन वॉट वर देर नीम्स देर आर मल्टीपल ट्राइब्स एटलीस्ट दिस नंबर वॉज आई गेस thousand different tribal groups were there and all these names which are there though the picture is not very clear but i'll be telling you name of couple of you know these such as have you heard of certain names sony cherokee mohawk then kawatswa सुने ये सारे नाम इसमें कुछ नहीं है अच्छा चलो मैं ऐसे बता रहा हूं एक यूएसए में एक ब्रांड है व्हीकल बनाती है जीप सुना है ना जीप में एक उसका जो सब कैटेगरी है चेरोकी सुना है क्या है वो ट्राइब है नॉर्थ अमेरिका की तरफ नहीं है चेरोकी ट्राइब जो है इस जगह से आते थे इस जगह से पहले इधर थे फिर इधर माइग्रेट करते हैं चेरोकीज इधर आते हैं ठीक है 
सो यू ऑल कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि दीज नेम्स आर नाउ इंस्पायरिंग देम टू पुट देयर नेम जीप कैसी गाड़ी होती है एस होती है स्पोर्ट्स यूटिलिटी व्हीकल होती है और कैसा पावर के लिए जाना जाता है उसको ठीक है बहुत पावर होता है उस गाड़ी में और ऐसे ही सोनीज और चेरोकीज जाने आते थे क्योंकि ये सब तो खैर आपके सिलेबस में है भी नहीं जब वो लोग दे आर गोइंग फॉर ए काइंड ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एनी वेज डोंट गेट मी ट्रैप्ड ऑन रॉन्ग थिंग्स ठीक है अभी हम थोड़ा बात करते हैं लाइक यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डिस्कवरी ऑफ यू एस एट्स वन टर्म विच इज मोस्टली यूज बाई द यूरोपियन स्कॉलर्स दैट पर्टिकुलर टर्म इट सेल्फ हैज बिन चैलेंज इन द करेंट हिस्टोरियोग्राफी बिकॉज लाइक इट इज नॉट करेक्ट दैट दे हैव डिस्कवर्ड अमेरिका राइट अमेरिका वॉज ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग एंड इफ यू बिलीव दैट नो बडी वॉज लिविंग इन अमेरिका दैट्स इन करेक्ट वॉज लाइक यू नो दिस वॉज द सेटलमेंट ऑफ यू एस एंड एज यू कैन सी एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट एट लीस्ट इन यू एस ए इट सेल्फ अराउंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ नेटिव ट्राइब्स फॉर प्रेजेंट इट मीन्स दैट इट वॉज वेल सेटल आई वॉन्ट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कॉम्प्लिकेट इट एट ऑल आई विल कीप इट वेरी सिंपल so we do not know much about the history of that but i can tell you that probably they entered from this side into usa theek hai not usa america from this side they have entered when somewhere around 9000 bc right uh, uh somewhere around 9000 bc they entered from this part and then like from here they further went to south america that's how they are coming but if they have entered through this way in that case you all can understand ki this part must be the more developed part but there are couple of reasons because of what they could not retain their civilization in this part and they have been started leaving they they had started leaving this part and now they started getting settling like you know in this part and that's how you can find that now they are coming to this part they are coming to this part and in fact those who went towards south there also they uh, framed or they established certain empires such as you might have heard of one civilization that's called as mayan civilization you must have heard of aztec empire or inca you know empire or inca civilization so these are couple of like you know empires that could be noticed in this part which is basically mexico peru and all these areas so the civilization which was present in mexico and peru it was very developed but on the other hand the you can find the people if you find the people of red indian specifically was precisely in this part like they were not very uh, like very developed there were all those people leading a tribal life there was no great political structure among them there was no great social or developed society among them so they had been leading the rural or let's say uh, yeah rural life they were mostly depending on agriculture they had very basic political structure and what is that like it's uh, like you know it can be called as a chiefdom structure right where a sardar was there and that sardar had been instructing people and most of the people in within a tribal group like you know they had been following it and it was a society where the women were more empowered in american society why because complete opposite system you may find after the marriage the male had been shifting to the families uh, like shifting to the family of his wife and then the property and everything like though there was no concept of individual ownership of a property here but still uh, like you know uh, the they they are coming to this part like they are, they are going to the uh, yeah, families of their wives and then when it comes to the women they have been playing always very important role because american males specifically the males which are there in this particular part they were such kind of people not much into the not much into the production activities right they are mostly known for two things theek hai and what might be these two things first wars they had been fighting against the other tribal groups and the second they are addicted of couple of things theek hai uh, pade rehte the nashe karte the theek hai aur mast rehte the baki kaam kaun karte tha baki kaam फीमेल्स करती थी वोमेन करती थी अमेरिकन ट्राइबल सोसाइटी ऐसी ही है ठीक है एक बेसिक आइडिया मैंने आपको इस ट्राइबल सोसाइटी का दिया है मैंने हम बाद में और बात करेंगे था नहीं था पूरे ट्राइबल की जो ग्रुप की प्रॉपर्टी होती थी इंडिविजुअल प्रॉपर्टी इंडिविजुअल प्रोपराइटरशिप नहीं है कम्युनिटी ऑनरशिप है कम्युनिटी ऑनरशिप है इंडिविजुअल प्रोपराइटरशिप नहीं है ठीक है तो एक ट्राइबल ग्रुप को हरा के दूसरे मतलब उस ट्राइबल ग्रुप को हरा के उस पूरे ट्राइबल ग्रुप की कम्युनिटी है वो हम ले सकते थे ठीक है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द फूड ग्रेन्स एनिमल्स दीज आर कपल ऑफ थिंग्स बिकॉज ऑफ फॉर देट बिन फाइटिंग बेसिक नीड्स के लिए वो लाते थे ओके फाइन जैसा एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली जो नहीं नहीं 
जो जिप्सीज या हिपीज कल्चर आर फॉलो करते हैं वो है नॉट नेसेसरली कुछ भी नहीं किसी भी आज के किसी भी उससे लेना देना नहीं है सब अलग अलग अभी भी एग्जिस्ट करते हैं ठीक है वो वाला पार्ट हमारे सिलेबस में है नहीं मैं ज़्यादा इसके बारे में डिस्कस करना शुरू करूँगा कई दिन निकल जाएंगे ठीक है सो so, uh, हम इसके बारे में ज़्यादा बात नहीं करेंगे ठीक है एग्जाम एग्जैक्टली एग्जिस्ट करते और दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मेजर इशूज इन यू एस ए राइट नाउ दैट द रेड इंडियंस दोज हु आर ओरिजिनल हैबिटेंस आर स्टिल डिप्राइव फ्राम इंजॉइंग ग्रेटर राइट्स इन यू एस ए इट्स सो अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट द वाइट्स दोज हुव कॉलोनाइज यू एस ए दे आर इंजॉइंग ग्रेटर राइट्स एंड द ओरिजिनल हैबिटेंट्स आर नॉट इंजॉइंग द ग्रेटर राइट्स ठीक है ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द लेट्स ए यू नो पिक्चर ऑफ दीज ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स लोकेटेड इन वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ यू नो अमेरिका एंड देन डाउन डाउन टू द साउथ लाइक यू कैन फाइंड सम सिविलाइजेशन फॉर दैन एंड दैट्स हियर यू डू नॉट फाइंड द ट्राइबल कल्चर इन द सेम वे द वे यू फाइंड इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका राइट इन द मिडिल अमेरिका ऑफ कोर्स दिस इज कैनेडा इन दिस पार्ट यू डू नॉट फाइंड ऑल दिस लाइक इट्स प्रिसाइजली द फीचर ऑफ दिस ओके नाउ दिस इज कमिंग टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग then it comes to colonization of america i have already told you that it cannot be considered as discovery why because i told you that people were very much present there they had a culture of course this was not a very developed culture but they had a culture it was it was basically a tribal culture now discovery kya discover karte which is something new look i did not know her earlier before coming to this class the moment she came to class and then started saying i discovered her samajh gaya meri baat usne root discover kiya wo log pehli baar jaane usko theek hai wo discovery thodi hai hai na yahi main baat karne ki koshish kar ek hota hai ki us land mein koi nahi rehta tha theek hai it was completely manless theek hai then they would have discovered it but आप अपनी दुनिया में हैं मैं अपनी दुनिया में हूं और आपने आके मुझे ढूंढ लिया तो इसका मतलब थोड़ी ना कि आपने मुझे डिस्कवर कर लिया ठीक है दे जस्ट फाउंड ए न्यू लैंड फॉर सम पीपल वर ऑलरेडी लिविंग ऐसा नहीं कि मैनलेस लैंड है देर वॉज नो ह्यूमन बींग लाइक एग्जिस्टिंग ओवर द देर आर दे आर लीडिंग देयर ओन काइंड ऑफ लाइफ दैट्स इट दिस इज वन थिंग आई दो चीज़ें हैं इसके लिए दो चीज़ें हैं सबसे पहली बात कि आप मैं आपकी बात से सहमत नहीं हूँ कि वाइट सुपर मेसी नहीं है पहली बात और दूसरी बात वेन द ब्रिटिशर्स आर कमिंग टू इंडिया दे डिड नॉट फाइंड द सेम सिचुएशन इन इंडिया द वे वी हैव बिन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अफ्रीका अमेरिका और इवन ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेर एवर दे फाउंड द ट्राइबल कल्चर सो सिंस दे वर स्टिल लीडिंग ए काइंड ऑफ प्रिमिटिव लाइफ and that's the reason because of what we can say there was no civilization since no civilization was there so that's why we uh, like we no civilization was there that's how the whites dominated over them but when they came to india every sort of development was very much present in india the only thing that happened in europe that i have told you earlier also that was enlightenment the enlightenment brought the modernity bit earlier in europe and because of that only we can say ki they were bit advanced otherwise europe or in fact if we we'll compare the ancient part and the medieval part i can say that india was more advanced than europe uh, as far as this ancient and medieval is concerned the only reason because of what they had been excelling that modernity came little earlier there that's it okay now the the, the next question which comes in why the discovery of USA or why like they they were so desperate to uh, find this particular place look yes you are you are right there are multiple reasons because of what they wanted to come to like they wanted to go to this part they actually did not want to go to this part and in fact i must say that the person columbus i think i should mark here is yes, columbus who was not willing to go to this land because they did not know it so columbus had a plan to actually find india now why columbus wanted to find india that also we have discussed because you all know that after the fall of constantinople there was some problem for the trade between india and europe directly so they just wanted to connect themselves directly to india and india they always found the land of prosperity and then richness theek hai gold as well so they always imagine ki in india like everywhere gold is spread 
हो सकता है ये र्यूमर भी हो हो सकता है कि लोगों को ऐसा बताया गया हो उसकी वजह से उनको ऐसा लगता था सो सिंस लाइक यू नो दे वॉन्टेड टू इंजॉय दिस प्रॉस्पेरिटी ऑफ इंडिया अंडर द थ्योरी ऑफ मर्केंटलिज्म एंड दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट वी कैन से दैट दे वर सो डेस्परेट टू कम टू इंडिया राइट and what idea he had that he'll go from this side right and then he'll take a round of the earth and from the opposite side he'll land on the eastern coast of india that is how like you know, he had been planning and there was nothing wrong in that he his planning was quite good so he started his journey from here and this person columbus was basically from where columbus kahan se tha nahi nahi कहाँ से था कोलम्बस इटली से था यार ठीक है ही वॉज बेसिकली फ्रॉम इटली जेनेवा से था बट देन ही वॉज स्पॉन्सर्ड और हिज वॉयज वॉज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई स्पेन वो उसके वॉयज को स्पेनियंस स्पेन ने स्पॉन्सर किया था एंड देन ही इज कमिंग एंड देन ही लैंडेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट दैट्स कॉल एस बहामास दिस दिस ठीक है सो सिंस ही केम टू लाइक दिस पार्ट and like of course he had certain uh, expectations what expectations that the moment he is he land over there pehle to landing ko leke bhi kai sare jo hai uh, important events hain theek hai bada curiosity curiosity thi unke andar ki jab hum land karenge to kya hoga to unko hum laga ki hum land karenge to matlab kyunki sea voyage itna easy nahi hota tha kafi din unko zyada nahi mujhe lagta hai jahan tak mujhe yaad hai 39 days mein wo pahunch gaye the तो उनको उनके दिमाग में क्या था कि हमें पूरा घूम के दूसरी तरफ से जाना है सो दे हैड एन एक्सपेक्टेशन कि देल बी रीचिंग इन मंथ्स टू इंडिया बट सिंस दे स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम हियर एंड दे लैंडेड हियर तो बड़ा जल्दी आ गया तो उनके जो इतने दिन समुद्र में रहने की जो एक का जो एक फियर था उसकी वजह से उन लोगों ने कहा था कि जो सबसे पहली बार जमीन को देखेगा उसको जो है काफ़ी पैसा गिफ्ट में दिया जाएगा तो हुआ क्या जो है एक आदमी एक छोटे लेवल का ऑफिसर ने सवेरे देखा कि लैंड आ गया वो भी स्टार्टेड साउटिंग की अरे वी हैव लैंडेड वी हैव लैंडेड तो एक बड़ा ऑफिसर निकल के आया बोले अरे रात में मैंने देख लिया था कि हम आ गए हैं तुम लोग सो रहे थे तो मैंने नहीं बताया मैंने सर डिस्टर्ब हो जाओगे ठीक है पैसा हड़प लिया उसका ठीक स्पेन का जो रूलर है उसने एक डील दे जो है कोलम्बस को भेजा था कि जितना सोना मिलेगा वहाँ से मैं फिर से कहता हूँ कि उनकी एक्सपेक्टेशन थी कि बहुत सोना मिलेगा वहाँ पे तो उन्होंने डील थी कि जितना सोना मिलेगा उसका वन थर्ड मेरे पास होगा मतलब वन थर्ड कोलंबस रखेंगे और बाकी का टू थर्ड कौन रखेगा स्पेन का रेगुलर रखेगा ठीक है ये डील था सो कोलंबस यहाँ पे आया तो जब कोलंबस लैंड करता है यहाँ पर तो लोग जो उस एरिया में रहते थे ठीक है वो बड़ा खुश हो गए उनके घर में कोई मेहमान आया था तो वो लोग गए वेलकम करने के लिए तो लोग उनको नहीं देख रहे थे वो देख रहे थे कान में कुछ पहना या नहीं है ये देख रहे थे क्योंकि उनको तसल्ली चाहिए थी उनको लगा कि सब बपी लहरी की तरह लदे होंगे ठीक तो वैसा तो कुछ मिला नहीं तो उनको लगा कि यार देखे तो कान में देखा कि उन लोगों ने थोड़ा थोड़ा पहना हुआ था तो उनको वो तसली मिलेगी सुना है सुना है ठीक है उसके बाद जो शुरू हुआ ठीक है वो बड़ा पैथेटिक है ठीक है उसके बाद जो ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री का एक काला पार्ट है ब्लैक पार्ट है क्यों लाइक यू नो कोलम्बस केम टू हेयर बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ही कुड नॉट फाइंड ग्रेट अमाउंट ऑफ वेल्थ ठीक है गोल्ड स्पेसिफिकली सो ही रिटर्न सो अगेन ही कन्विंस द रूलर ऑफ स्पेन की नहीं नहीं आप एक मौका दो मुझे और मिलेगा मिलेगा ठीक है कोलम्बस दूसरी बार भी आया लाइक like, दूसरी बार इज कमिंग फ्रॉम लाइक दिस इज द रूट ठीक है नहीं कोलम्बस दिस इज फोर्टीन नाइनटी थ्री इज कमिंग बैक This is the first route. Just a second. This is the first route. He came on 1492. ये सब इतना जानना जरूरी नहीं. ठीक है, मैं I'm just telling you. This is the second route he has been following. 1493. He came back once again. Again, unfortunately, he could not found much. कुछ है ही नहीं तो क्या मिलेगा वहाँ पे? ठीक है. and then like he is coming back again in for you know 15 uh, in the beginning of 16th century uh, yeah 1498 columbus is coming once again so uh, columbus came many times okay three four times he came but unfortunately like he could not find anything but in his last uh, like you know uh, last coming to this place he had realized ki there is no great potential here but if they are coming to this part they can find something so they have realized just one thing ki do this in this particular land there is no great amount of gold but still like you know still we can say ki they could f- utilize the vast amount of land which is present here and that's how he somehow convinced the ruler of spain ki there is a benefit of it 
आफ्टर दिस लाइक वेन कोलम्बस केम फॉर कपल ऑफ टाइम्स एंड देन कोलम्बस वॉज वेरी हैप्पी कि अरे यार मैंने एक काम तो ऐसा कर दिया कि दुनिया में लोग हमको पढ़ेंगे हिस्ट्री में कि मैंने अमेरिका डिस्कवर किया है ठीक है बट ठीक है बेचारे का आइडिया जो इतना काम नहीं करता बिकॉज देर वॉज एन अनदर पर्सन हु टूक द क्रेडिट एंड दैट्स वेस्ट पुची ठीक है ये हम ज़्यादातर क्रेडिट उसको देते हैं और उसको कॉलोनाइज करने का ठीक है क्योंकि बेस्ट पिची बाद में आते हैं इस पार्ट में एंड देन हियर दे कुड नॉट फाइंड ग्रेट पोटेंशियल बट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट दे स्टार्टेड ग्रेजुअली रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द पोटेंशियल एंड दैट्स वी कैन फाइंड दैट सम मोर कंट्रीज स्टार्टेड सेंडिंग द सेंडिंग स्पेनियंस एंड पॉर्चुगीज बेसिकली दे वर मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन डूइंग सो एंड दे स्टार्टेड सेंडिंग यू नो मेनी 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 यू नो वॉयजेस टू दिस पार्ट एंड दैट्स दे हैड बिन जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर द पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड स्पेन एंड पॉर्चुगल दीज आर टू कंट्रीज लाइक बाद में एक ही हो गए थे ठीक है वो इस एरिया में कुछ कुछ डिस्कवर करते हैं दे स्टार्ट at the process of colonization in this part so spain and portugal were first like you know those who have started it uh, later on france is also joining but when it comes to you know our our concern topic that's basically only this part and as we can see ki so far nobody is coming from england why because england was bit or let's say least interested in this part like they were not very interested then in 1497 there was one person called as uh, john cabot like he is coming to new foundland this is the area and this he discovers an another route to this part so that's how this process is continuously going on but in the 15th century you do not find any amount of great colonization and as i told you that they have realized the significance of some parts specifically spain uh, then france and that's how they started colonizing some of the parts that we can see in the next picture i guess like this there that's how this process of colonization started and there were many countries france is there spain is there they have started you know uh, colonizing uh, they they have started colonizing uh, like you know all the parts of this uh, all the parts of north america and then south america so that process of colonization had started right but from britain there was no great efforts made in this particular line right okay but we are more concerned for uh, usa but before i come to now this let me discuss something some favorable reasons because of what ultimately britain had some great successes okay you all know that europe had been transforming during this particular period right specifically if we'll be talking about 15th and 16th century so you have heard of renaissance humne renaissance kar liya you know about renaissance you know about the disintegration of feudalism that feudalism which was like actually holding america in medieval holding europe in medievalism that feudalism is disintegrating gradually you find the emergence of nation states and you all know that nation state got merged with the idea of mercantilism and as per this idea you all know that every nation specific not every nation at least some of the nations falling in the western or the atlantic coast of europe they wanted to enjoy a kind of great amount of economic prosperity and that's the reason because of what they had been sponsoring such kind of sea voyages because through this they could have really expected of holding great amount of wealth wealth specifically gold and silver that was called as bullion at that particular point of time so they have started like in you know, a sponsoring all this in order to enjoy great amount of economic prosperity so europe had been transforming in many ways and that's the reason because of what europe uh, specifically couple of countries of europe now they are more into that process of mercantilism and then if it is required in that case they could even go for colonization of uh, like colonization of any land that was the whole idea now out of these european countries england the situation of england was bit different theek okay? hai how come the situation of england was bit different because in england you can find that uh, even in 16th century or 15th and specifically i'll say about 16th century in 16th century there was a very different form of government which was working that was democratic government theek okay? hai and in fact like there were certain changes which were there and earlier it was james ii which was ruler ruler james ii was that person who was more dictator in nature and that's how like in this particular period you can find a conflict which was happening between uh, a conflict is happening between uh, no between i mean to say parliament and the crown and this conflict was resolved this conflict was resolved uh, after william iii is coming to power now william iii was a more sensible person and he has realized or recognized the power of british parliament and that's the reason because of what after some period of time specifically in the beginning of 16th century the british parliament has become more powerful so the crown was made secondary and the parliament became more uh, like you know more powerful 
and that's how the English society had been going through a kind of change. That's one thing. The second thing you already know about the Catholic form of Christianity and you all know that Europe was transforming during this particular period and the new forms of Christianity were coming. So out of when, when this particular change is there, one sort of church which became very popular in England that was the Church of England, Church of England. But the Church of England was again a kind of form of Christianity which was being supported by state. And the common people were not very convinced with it, specifically the people from the middle class and the lower class, they were not very happy with this Church of England. Because if you think that England had a parliamentary system and that's how there was great amount of democracy in England, that's incorrect. The concept, the elite class still dominating the English, like you know, English parliament, and they were dominating in the English parliamentary system. So the middle class and the lower class were a bit unhappy with the system and they started uh, like promoting an another form of religion that's called as Calvinism. Tike? And basically the followers of these Calvinism were called as Protestant people. Tike? Uh, sorry, not Protestant, Puritans. They were called as Puritans, right? So these Puritan people were very ha unhappy with the Church of England and that's also one reason because of what there was a kind of very favorable environment for getting into the new land. So that's how we can say ki when you compare the European countries, specifically the countries like Spain, Portugal and then uh, Spain, Portugal, France and England, you can find that position of England was a bit convenient because their situation was as there was, there was you know the situation of like the uh, England was a bit different as compared to others and that's how when it comes to the real competition among all these countries, why did England uh, like England uh, dominate? For that, I can say ki, uh, like so, some of the condition which is there inside uh, USA, that's the like you know, that's one reason because of what it could be done. Achha, one fact I didn't tell you that's very important that even much before much before this England, France, and then uh, Spain, you can find one more country was there who had been trying their luck in this uh, like in, in North and South America. Can somebody tell me about that country? Sare Bolo China. China ne bhi suru mein bahut koshish ki thi, theek hai. But gradually unke jo rulers the, un logon ne idea drop kar diya ki ham Europe isko colonize karenge, kyunki unko laga hamare paas already itni zameen hai. Unko laga ki unke paas bahut zameen hai. Haan, us zamane ki baat kar raha hai. उस जमाने डायनेस्टी पे डिपेंड करते तो उनको लगा कि हमारे पास जमीन है तो उन लोगों ने पहले कोशिश की थी इन फैक्ट फोर्टीन सेंचुरी में सम ऑफ देम हैव रियली ट्राइड टू कम टू और टू कम टू अमेरिका एंड टू कॉलोनाइज बट लेटर दे ड्रॉप दिस आइडिया एंड दैट्स दिस स्टार्ट राइट सो ओके फाइन सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन से दैट द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द कॉलोनाइजेशन ऑफ यू एस ए गॉट कम्प्लीटेड नाउ वेन इट कम्स टू कॉलोनाइजेशन ऑफ अमेरिका ठीक है आई थिंक मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू must not be knowing about 13 colonies, ठीक है पूरा यू एस ए कॉलोनाइज नहीं हुआ था जानते थे कितने लोगों को पता था पता था दो तीन लोगों को पूरा यू एस ए कॉलोनाइज नहीं होता है सिर्फ यही पार्ट है कॉलोनाइज होता है बट ये भी सही नहीं कि पूरा यू एस ए कॉलोनाइज नहीं होता है पूरा यू एस ए कॉलोनाइज होता है कब होता है नहीं 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 ऐसा नहीं है ये थर्टीन कॉलोनीज जो हैं, दे बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट फर्स्ट फ्रॉम ब्रिटेन एंड दे दिमसेल्फ स्टार्टेड कॉलोनाइजिंग दिस पार्ट एंड दैट्स नॉन एज द वेस्टवर्ड एक्सपेंशन एंड दैट्स हाउ दे आर कमिंग टू दिस पार्ट ऑफ इंग्लैंड सो दैट्स अ वेरी डिफरेंट और यूनिक स्टोरी ऑफ यू बहुत लोगों को नहीं पता होता है कि इसमें जो ये थर्टीन कॉलोनीज है वो इंग्लैंड के यही कॉलोनीज हैं ठीक है और बाकी कॉलोनीज नहीं जब ये इंडिपेंडेंट हो जाते एक बार तो इन लोगों ने खुद ही एक्सपेंशन शुरू किया or it is also known as a colonization and in fact these are not like you know we are not supposed to study these things which is popularly known in the history of USA as the westward expansion okay and there are so many doctrines that you might have heard have you heard of mundo doctrine <coughs> or have you heard of manifest destiny nahi sunai kabhi koi baat nahi sunna bhi nahi chhod do to ye cheeze okay fine kis mein hai na niche niche ye इधर कोई नहीं भाई इधर कोई नहीं है नो बट इज देर सॉरी हाँ ये ऊपर है बाद में आते हैं इधर 
ठीक है इस पार में इधर इतना ही है और इसके पीछे एक रीजन है जिसकी वजह से दे कुड नॉट क्रॉस इट हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ अपलेसियन रेंज ये तो सुना होगा सर सो वो कहाँ पे है एग्जैक्टली exactly यहीं पे आती है वो ठीक है इट वॉज नॉट दैट ईजी फॉर सम वन टू क्रॉस दिस एंड दिस इज वन रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वट दे आर नॉट एबल टू कम टू दिस पार्ट बट वन कंट्री हैड रीच टू दिस पार्ट दैट वॉज फ्रांस and france had been controlling canada and most importantly because of what you find the great struggle between uh, england and france that's called as the louisiana uh, region or the mississippi region this was under the control of uh, france right so that's how we can say ki uh, the when it comes to the history of usa we are mostly reading about this part we are not reading about rest of the part though in story we have to refer sometimes like you know uh, sometimes couple of things from this side also but i must tell you ki for us like this is the part which is the most important right so okay fine when it comes to now history of uh, the 13 colonies i would like to discuss something about that first of all you have seen the other countries started coming to usa theek hai other countries meant uh, spain uh, then france and then uh, spain hai france hai specifically these two countries are coming to kaha indian territory or indian so the native people so the index acha ye ye wala part yahan red indians reh rahe hain indian territory ye sawni cherokee is isi side mein rehte the yahan pe rehte the ye cherokee rehti thi sawni is taraf thi kahin pe theek hai या फाइन सो इट कम्स टू द कॉलोनाइजेशन ऑफ यूएसए नाउ वी विल बी प्रिसाइसली डिस्कसिंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू इंग्लैंड सो आई जस्ट टोल यू दैट इंग्लैंड हैड सट सम एडवांटेजेस बिकॉज ऑफ वट दे हैव एक्सेल बट बिफोर कमिंग ऑफ इंग्लैंड ऑलरेडी सटन पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ एंड साउथ अमेरिका गॉट कॉलोनाइज बाई फ्रांस एंड इंग्लैंड सॉरी फ्रांस एंड स्पेन राइट फोर्टीन सॉरी Somewhere in 1564, uh, the British government had decided finally to do something in this line. So you can see that it was discovered in 1492, and from 1492 to 1563, 64, there was no any decision made towards England, towards America, that whether England is interested genuinely in coming to this part or not. So actually, the government was not taking any initiative in this particular line, right? but then there was one book got published uh, that book which was written by there was person called as richard hakluyt theek hai richard hakluyt and that book was named as principal navigation voyages traffics and discoveries of english nation that was the book this book is considered to be very important with respect to colonization of america by england because in this particular book it has been conveyed this idea was included that what are the benefits england going to get after the colonization of usa and that's the reason because of what after that some mentality in uh, you know england is changing and finally the government of england is being be, is being bit serious about this but one thing that was made very clear by elizabeth elizabeth first that i am not going to uh, invest a single penny for colonization of usa okay single penny so if you want to colonize like you go yourself okay and just if you are successful in doing anything or capturing any land in that case i can give you the charter for that particular land that you are the owner of this land right this is what she said and then after that like you can find certain efforts started happening uh then i guess it was gilbert who was the first person i'm missing his name but then then his like his effort was not very successful then finally rally his brother in fact so his step brother now he is coming here in next year only 1660 or uh, oh, sorry 1560 60 to 65 and then this land got settled by him. that's called as virginia so there was one city got established here that's called as jamestown and this was settled and that was in for 1565 as i told you but once they came here and if you think it was bit easy for them like to the, the way they came to india and everything was well developed in india so it was quite easy to colonize unfortunately it was it was not that easy and in fact initially whoever came to this part most of them died but it was very tough now what were the reasons because of what it was not that easy to colonize usa ye patch dekho yaar theek hai इस पैच में हर वेदर कंडीशन मिल रही है ठीक है लाइक दिस पार्ट मस्ट बी वेरी 
cold. The moment the way you go towards south, you will find hot weather. The English people were not very habituated or accustomed of this kind of weather. So weather was a kind of real challenge to them. What next? Food was the most severe challenge to them. Food. Why? Because the Red Indians used to produce only one thing. That was not only one thing, but mostly uh, their staple food crop was maize, corn. Corn up jate the. Ab England ke lo English ko corn khana nahi aata tha ki corn ke apko chawal mile to apko samajh mein aata kaise khana hai. Apko gehu mile to samajh mein aata ki kaise khana hai. Ab corn jo koi nahi khata tha corn kaise khayenge? ये तो अब है ना यार कि जब पिक्चर हॉल में जाते हो तो 200 का सबसे छोटा वाला बकेट मिलता है और 500 का बड़ा वाला बकेट मिलता है ठीक है 500 या 400 में तो पता नहीं ऐसा ही कुछ होगा ना 200 400 500 ऐसा ही होगा कौन कुछ लोगों के हिसाब से खाली सुअर खाते थे ठीक है ऐसा नहीं रेड इंडियंस भी खाते थे बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट दे डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू कंज्यूम कॉर्न सो इफ दे डिड नॉट नो हाउ टू कंज्यूम द कॉर्न सो देन व्हाट वाज द अल्टरनेटिव दे वर लेफ्ट विद फिर खाना कहां से खाएंगे वो सी फूड मतलब दिन रात मछली खाएंगे दिस इज वॉट यू आर सजेस्टिंग लाइक दे यूज टू कैरी इट फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड तो आपको लगता है कि जो वो हर बार खाना कैरी करके वहाँ से इतने लोगों का लेके जाएंगे और उनकी कंडीशंस इतनी खराब होती थी कई बार कि वो लोग जैसे मान लीजिए वहाँ से कोई एक सिप आई छः महीने का खाना लेके वो लोग अगर आए तो छः महीने में उनको थोड़े दिन तो अच्छे से कंज्यूम किया जब उनको लगने लगता था कि अब नेक्स्ट सिप कब आएगी हमें नहीं पता हमें फूड प्रिजर्व करना है वो सिर्फ एक वक्त का खाना खाते थे ठीक है हाँ इतना आसान इस वेदर कंडीशन को समझना इतना आसान नहीं था आपको लगता है नई जगह पे जाके वहाँ पे एग्रीकल्चर तुरंत शुरू करना इतना आसान नहीं था और उनको उस जमीन पे कैसे खेती करेंगे उनको उसके बारे में भी बहुत कुछ नहीं पता था एंड द अनदर प्रॉब्लम अनफॉर्चुनेटली वेर एवर दे हैव लैंडेड द लोकल पीपल मोस्टली कॉपरेटेड विद दम दिस इज वन ऑफ द लैंड लाइक दिस इज द ओनली लैंड आई गेस वेर द लोकल पीपल आउटराइटली रिफ्यूज टू कॉपरेट विद दम ठीक है नो कॉपरेशन एट ऑल विद द इंग्लिश दोज हुआ बिन कमिंग टू दिस पार्ट रीजन अब नाउ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू टेक द डिबेट इन टू दैट डायरेक्शन देर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टडी दैट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फ्रीडम फॉर द रेड इंडियंस वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑफ द इंग्लिश फेलोज एंड सिंस दे नेवर वॉन्टेड टू बी इन एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ रिलेशन एंड टू सम एक्सटेंड इट इज ट्रू दैट दीज पीपल स्पेसिफिकली द अदर यूरोपियंस हैव रियली टॉर्चर दम टू एनी टू नो बियॉन्ड एनी काइंड ऑफ बेनी बियॉन्ड एनी एनी थिंग एनी थिंग वेर यू कैन से दैट लाइक नो दैट दे हैव टॉर्चर दम इन सच ए वे दैट द रेड इंडियंस ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू मेंटेन ए सेफ डिस्टेंस बट देर आर कपल ऑफ अदर रीजन्स ऑल्सो इट वॉज सो अनफॉर्चुनेट दैट रेड इंडियंस कुड नॉट सर्वाइव because of some biological reason also with the english fellows because when they went from here to there they carried some diseases with them specifically the disease like malaria and all and there is a historian from japan he says that like the both of them could not coexist why because of a uh, different kind of environment and that's how if the red indians decided to live with them they died and those who ran away from there they only survived so moral of the story the red indians are not there to guide them so the moment the britishers were coming the red indians either they had been fighting with them or or else they used to run away from there and that's how nobody was there to guide them that was an another problem so this is how i can say ki when they were coming to this part they had been facing so many challenges so that's the that's how the colonization of this uh, part like which is known as 13 colonies in the present time right uh, that was not possible for them to wo possible nahi hai uske liye aur yahi wajah hai ki 1464 mein uh, sorry 15 1964, 65 में जब वो आते हैं अनफॉर्चुनेटली कुछ बहुत रिमार्केबल वो नहीं कर पाए एंड देन दे आर गोइंग बैक ठीक है फाइनली लाइक दिस कॉलोनाइजेशन स्टार्टेड मोस्ट प्रिसाइजली वी कैन से फ्रॉम 16 नॉट 7 एंड देन हियर ऑनवर्ड्स व्हेन कॉलोनाइजेशन स्टार्टेड नाउ दीस पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कवरिंग सम ऑफ द वेज फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल सच एज लाइक सिंस सम पीपल आर ऑलरेडी स्टेइंग हियर सो दे ग्रेजुअली लर्न हाउ टू कंज्यूम मीज वन थिंग and the second how to produce wheat that's one thing right acha one more reason because of for their survival was not that easy what was the point of surviving here kaun sa resource hai nahi yahan pe is part mein to kuch nahi milta hai ha land ka kya karenge agar unko us land ko exploit karna aata सो इन दैट केस इट वॉज क्वाइट ओके बट उनको लैंड को एक्सप्लॉयट करने आता ही नहीं यहाँ पे वो चीज़ें वो प्रोड्यूस ही नहीं कर सकते आई थिंक देर वॉज नो यूटिलिटी ऑफ स्टेइंग हेयर 
so that's the like you know that's the reason because of what until and unless they understand ki what is the best possible use of the land because the only thing which was available here was land right so the moment they are learning that how to utilize it then only they could have done something they have started discovering couple of things they had they were into this struggle but there are couple of things first i'll tell you about let's say france france has uh, uh, invented a very good business in this part louisiana specifically or the mississippi re you know, region what like you know what trade they had been doing they were basically into this fur trade and that was one of the most lucrative business in that that side but unfortunately france was so aggressive that like you know it was never allowing england to get into this business and that's how england's uh, like english people could not do it but when in the second round they are coming like now they have developed the situation or now they have improved it now they have started producing couple of things specifically in this side and what's that what are those products basically there are two things which are very important that they learn how to produce in this environment one is tobacco and the second one second one is cotton ठीक है तो टोबैको और कॉटन ये दो चीजें इन लोगों ने प्रोड्यूस करने सीख ली दैट्स वन थिंग ठीक है एंड देन इन दिस पार्ट व्हिच इज नॉन एस लाइक नाउ यूएसए इज गेटिंग डेवलप्ड इन थ्री डिफरेंट पार्ट्स सो बेसिकली व्हाट हैपेंड दिस इज वन पार्ट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज न्यू इंग्लैंड दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट व्हिच इज नॉन एस मिडिल कॉलोनीज एंड दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट व्हिच इज नॉन एस द सदर्न कॉलोनीज सो न्यू इंग्लैंड मिडिल कॉलोनीज सदर्न कॉलोनीज एंड ग्रेजुअली मेनी फॉर्म्स ऑफ बिजनेस आर डेवलपिंग हियर एंड व्हाट आर दे लाइक हियर like fishing is one industry which developed okay and apart from fishing trade and there were some basic industries which were at work here but they were very basic i'm not precisely discussing about them okay fishing and trade as like here appeared as two prominent here here you can find some artisanal industries were there but they were very basic some artisanal industries were there but they were very basic and in this part you can find agriculture agriculture jo green wala part hai स्पेन है साउथ अमेरिका कॉन्टिनेंट की बात करें स्पेन है फ्रांस है वहां इंग्लैंड नहीं है इंग्लैंड बस इतनी सी जगह पे है तो इन लोगों ने फिर ग्रेजुअली ये आइडेंटिफाई किया कि हम इसको कैसे बेहतर इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं सो वंस दे रियलाइज कि ओके दिस माइट बी द पॉसिबल यूज फॉर इट एंड दैट्स हाउ लाइक इन दिस स्टार्ट गोइंग डूइंग इट आफ्टर दिस यू कैन टॉक अबाउट ए वेरी यूनिक फॉर्म ऑफ इकोनॉमी विच इज डेवलपिंग हेयर and what's that let me tell you <clears throat> sorry now what did i tell you ki this particular part is involved in agriculture, agriculture. and what are the things they are producing tobacco, tobacco and cotton dono hi cheeze jo hai self consumption ke liye nahi hoti hai theek hai dono hi cheeze export purpose se bante hai theek hai itna tobacco kitna piyenge yaar वो भी टोबैको कंज्यूम करते थे ठीक है इन्होंने ग्रेजुअली वो चीज़ें इन्वेंट की और भी बहुत सारी चीज़ें कमर्शलाइज करते हैं मैंने एक दिन बताया था ना टमाटर के बारे में किसी क्लास में टमाटर जो है जिसको आप रिफाइंड इंग्लिश में टोमेटो कहते हैं ठीक है वो जो है दुनिया कंज्यूम नहीं करती थी और अमेरिका में वो ऐसे ही झाड़ियों में उग जाते थे ठीक है कहीं पर भी लेकिन रेड इंडियंस के बीच में एक पॉपुलर परसेप्शन ये था कि द मूवमेंट यू ईट ए सिंगल बाइट ऑफ टोमेटो ठीक है इल डाई they had this perception i do not know why theek hai so when the english people had been looking for business opportunities they realized ki acha ye hai to unhone socha try karte hain theek hai to unhone try kiya unko laga yaar ye to acha lagta hai taste khatta khatta sa taste aata hai iska theek hai to unhone bola isko commercialize karte hain to pehle to red indians ko hi bechna shuru koshish ki un logon ne to kya karte the ek pehlwan type aadmi le lete the usko bolte chalo hamare sath वो गांव गांव जाते थे रेड इंडियंस के और बोलते थे कि जो है देखो ये पहलवान हमारा खाएगा और पहलवान खाता था कुछ नहीं होता था फिर वो टेस्टी लगता था फिर धीरे धीरे उसको कमर्शलाइज किया और फिर तो पूरी दुनिया ही टोमेटो कंज्यूम करने लगी तो वो लोग आपको मैं ये एग्जांपल देके बताने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ कि किस तरीके से पॉसिबिलिटीज़ हंट कर रहे थे वो लोग कि वट पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देर टू सर्वाइव हियर सो इट वॉज रियली वेरी टफ एंड इनफैक्ट इट इज समथिंग विच इज क्रिएटिंग ए डिफरेंट फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ ऑफ द माइंड ऑफ द अमेरिकन बिकॉज दे ऑलवेज बिलीव कि दे आर नॉट द सेम ब्रिटिशर्स ठीक है दे आर वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दोज ब्रिटिशर्स बिकॉज ऑल दोज पीपल हु हैव सर्वाइव्ड इन लाइक इन इन ये अमेरिका एंड देन दे हैव 
uh, uh, they have come up with some forms of business. It is their nature or they are very different from those traditional Britishers and that's how they always consider themselves as very different from the you know, uh, original Britishers. They always used to call themselves as British Americans. Okay? And that's the reason because of what they always find themselves very different. Or we could change it just differentiate karte. But let me before I come to uh, those things. Let me tell you the kind of pattern which developed. Now, first of all, I told you that agriculture emerged as the primary form. And as you can see, the majority of the part of USA, the, the 13 colonies, is involved in agriculture. Virginia is there, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. These are the parts uh, where you can find that agriculture was primarily practiced. And now they have started wheat, uh, started cultivating wheat and other things also. But two commercial crops primarily being produced by them is tobacco and uh, cotton. Now this tobacco and cotton, this is the phase where they, have, they were colonized. So this tobacco and cotton was taken from here to here, right? And I told you that trade is the main business. So the things which were being produced by South <coughs> were ultimately traded, <coughs> ultimately traded to where? Ultimately traded to uh, England, let's say, TK, England. And the control on over this trade was there of New England, TK. This part is called as New England. Very dominant part in USA. Mein yaad ga. Hai. New England. And some artisanal form of industries were there. Like they do not have any proper role to play. This was the form which got developed gradually. The way you see or the movement, this form has been like has developed in USA. And here onwards you find a different kind of story starts. Now the England is gradually developing its interest over there. And in fact, some sort of control was being established by the uh, crown over these colonies. These are 13 colonies and now some sort of administrative control was established. So first of all, I'll tell you that what system has been, this is a big question, <coughs> what condition has appeared? Let's first talk about the political condition which appeared. So basically, the persons, private companies had been given the land on lease. Theke? So they were given the land on lease and the private companies were basically, they were asked ki you can appoint your own governor. So basically after getting the permission from the British parliament, they had been appointing their own governor in these, these regions. So out of these 13 in 11 <coughs> uh, uh, states, mostly the governors who were appointed, they were selected by the parliament, British parliament. In only in do, the two states, the governors were selected from here. Then some representative bodies appeared here also and they were being elected by the local people. But when I'm saying local people, it does not include the Red Indians because I told you that they are not ready to stay with them. And that's how here you won't find the Red Indians. <coughs> so they were basically selected by the land owners. This offer was always open in England that anybody who is interested to go to America, like he'll be given 50 acres of land. 50 acres बहुत ज़्यादा होते हैं इतना आप उसको समझ में आता होगा तो आपको उनको खुला कहा गया कि अगर आप already रह रहे हैं वहाँ पे तो आपको 100 एकड़ जमीन दी जाएगी अगर आप नए जाना चाह रहे हैं तो आपको 50 एकड़ दिया जाएगा अगर आप एक नौकर के साथ जाएंगे तो आपको 50 और एकड़ दिया जाएगा ठीक है इस तरीके के लिक्यूरेटिव डील्स दिए जाते थे जिसकी वजह से जो ब्रिटिशर्स है या बाकी यूरोपियंस भी है दे स्टार्टेड कमिंग टू दिस पार्ट only the rich fellows uh, except again couple of states the rich fellows were supposed to cast their vote and that's how the legislative body was being formed but the governor was mostly the representative of uh, english parliament and that's how a system a, a parliamentary system got established here or an administrative system got established here so first of all there is a administrative system which is a merger of both like some control is established by english parliament and then at the lower level, the legislative was framed by them only. But this legislative was also framed only by the richer section. Why? Because the lower section of the society was not having the right to give vote. And that's how only in this system, the upper class people dominated. That is the political structure <coughs> of this particular region. Now, the something which is most interesting part in uh, like, you know, here, that's about the farming. Okay, that's about their agriculture. It's farming is the main occupation here. Okay, and for farming, you all understand that something is required. That's labor. And the biggest problem or the crisis they had been facing in England, uh, sorry, in, in southern colonies was the demand of labor. And their whole economic pattern is, like, you know, is very much dependent on that. 
and that was the biggest challenge to them and this is the reason because of what now different forms of labor had been tried and I have already told you the size of land that was 50 acres and one more problem is that just now I told you that if any white fellow of course from England they must be white is coming to USA in that case how much land he would be given 50 acres. 50 acres. So when you have the opportunity to become the master of the land, will you prefer to become the worker or the labor over the land? So there was the severe crisis of labor. Now what are the possibilities? There are three possibilities. <coughs> three possibilities are three. What is the labor crisis? What is the three possibilities? The first which is called as Red Indians. Either the red Indians could be used for the same purpose. I have already told you that what problems are there. The red Indians like were not willing at all to work with them, to coordinate or cooperate with them and that's how this possibility was not there. If they were forced, in that case they were dying as I told you that they were not uh, like you know accustomed of these, these things or the Britishers or the Europeans and that's how they had been dying. So this possibility is not there. The possibility number second that's called as indentured labor. Okay? So the second thing they tried that's called as indentured labor. What is this indentured labor? Of course you know as somebody was just now saying ki there was a kind of there was a kind of lucrative deal present in America. Everybody if migrating from Europe to uh, every, anyone who is migrating from Europe to uh, America USA 13 colonies in that case they had the chance to become the owner of 50 acres. So yes this is true that the section which is very rich do you really think that they will migrate to this part why would they migrate here they are already leading a good life. So they are not migrating. The people those who had been getting the charters of buying these rights of the land like they even these people did not migrate to this part. Why would they migrate? They are of course very rich that is how they are getting this charter. So what like they had been appointing some bureaucrats those who had been migrating that is first thing. When it comes to common people now the common people also had been finding USA as the land of opportunities. Why? Because they had a right to become the land owner. So the people, majority of them, those who migrated to USA, they found the UF, they found USA as the land of opportunities. That's why they were preferring to migrate. But again, I, I must tell you that they would migrate as the owner of the land. They would not migrate as the labor. But then there are certain compulsions because of what some people preferred to become indentured labor because that cost of migration was not very less. Okay? The cost of migration was too much because everybody could not, a simple person or a general, general person could not afford it and that is how one new pattern developed of indentured labor. So they had been signing a deal with some of the agencies and the agencies were transporting them to USA and the deals were like this, okay, for this much here you will work as labor and after that you are free. Now, a good number of Europeans choose this particular way or this method to migrate to USA. Reason they could not migrate by their own. They were like you know coming from the lower section of the society. So they thought why not to migrate America maybe after three years as per the contract or five years they are going to be free. So once they are becoming free they do have the greater opportunity to become the master of the land in uh, like master of land in America and that is how they would fulfill their dream. So the like I must say that there was there was good number of people who wanted to migrate through this way. But again this is not a permanent solution because as I told you that majority of them had been dreaming to become the master. So if I am getting free, I am completing, after completing my tenure undoubtedly I would not prefer to be as labor in this part rather I will prefer to become the master. And that is how indentured labor also unfortunately could not work. And then when the second system also failed then finally they are going to the third system that is called as slavery and that emerged not as a system but as an institution in America and you all know that this institution later on became very defamed right. So in the next class we will discuss about this slavery and American civil war. Kuch log bade parisan ho gaye hain. Kya nahi samajh mein aaya? नहीं ब्यूरोक्रेट नहीं माइग्रेट कर रहे ब्यूरोक्रेट तो बहुत कम नंबर में माइग्रेट कर रहे बहुत सारे लोग माइग्रेट कर रहे हैं यार ठीक है अभी मैंने एक रीजन बताया एक चीज मैंने बताई कि कुछ लोगों को लगता है कि दिस इज द लैंड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी ठीक है एक वो लोग माइग्रेट कर जाते हैं उनको लगता है जाहिर सी बात है दे मस्ट नॉट बी लीडिंग ए वेरी गुड लाइफ इन यूरोप दैट्स वाई देव माइग्रेटिंग ठीक है दैट्स वन थिंग सेकेंड कुछ लोग माइग्रेट करते हैं दोज हु आर नॉट हैप्पी विद द रिलीजियस सिस्टम सिंस Europe uh, had been going through certain transformations and now this idea is there 
कि at least you can enjoy the form of Christianity what you what you want to enjoy. Earlier there was only one one form of Christianity, uh, Catholic form of Christianity. तो पहले choices नहीं थी. अब जब choices है और जब उस पर उनके ऊपर कोई restriction लगा रहा है, they are not ready to accept it. So even these people were given the opportunity, they preferred to migrate. And in fact, uh, when they are coming to one land, the, uh, one land. So they are all religious pilgrims. इस तरफ New England को जो बसाते हैं जितने लोग हैं ना New England को बसाने वाले ज़्यादातर लोग जो हैं religious से purpose, religious point of view से migrate करते हैं. They are coming to this part. And then we can talk about uh, some prisoners. उनको कहा गया कि labour crisis है यहाँ पे, ठीक है? ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग भेजने थे, ठीक है? तो prisoners को कहा गया कि पर तुम्हें freedom मिल सकती है कैसे? अगर यहाँ पे आ जाओगे. तो उसमें से भी कुछ साहसी लोग थे उन्होंने कहा कि चलो बदलते हैं अपनी किस्मत तो वो लोग भी आ गए और फिर एक बार जब फॉर्म्स ऑफ बिजनेस डेवलप हो जाती है तो फिर तो लोग माइग्रेट करना चाहते हैं ठीक है फिर तो एक टॉपिक है नहीं हम आपके इसमें नहीं करेंगे बट बाद में बहुत ग्रेटर अमाउंट में माइग्रेशन है बहुत अलग अलग कंट्री से और उस बीच में यार कुछ और चीज़ें होती है आयरलैंड जैसे कंट्रीज से चाइना से आपको पता है चाइना से बहुत लोग इधर आते हैं थोड़ी लेट की कहानी है वो मतलब इट्स हैपनिंग लिटिल लेट ठीक है ओके